in this video we will discuss about logistic regression okay so we will take the idea from the perceptron algorithm and then we will uh, head towards the logistic regression okay so till now our idea was uh, basically we were taking a model p of y equals to x given one uh, y equals to one given x that is equals to one if w transpose x is greater than zero and zero otherwise for some w correct now we know that this type of data set is not allowed in the perceptron algorithm if we have this data set let's say this data set and we have some bunch of points this one this one this one this one and one negative is there similarly negative 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 and one positive is there so we know that it is not linearly separable so perceptron algorithm don't uh, consider this data set like it is not allowed in that right so our idea is basically can we have a model okay uh with like different probabilities can we model probabilities differently like this one right w transpose x greater than zero then we are marking as one and otherwise we are marking as zero zero right so can we have a different model where we can tackle this this kind of data set okay because in perceptron algorithm this kind of data set is not allowed so let's start with some assumption okay let's start with a simple linear model okay and the model is some z equals to w transpose x for all x belongs to rd okay and this z is basically nothing but a score okay so for each data set we are trying to give some score okay so this z is basically nothing but the score okay and this is varies from minus infinity to infinity let's say we have this uh plane okay and we have let's say this w okay which separates our data set so this is our w now according to this w okay with respect to this w we have some scores let's say there is a point here okay uh, from this w with a reference to this w we have a point here okay and this point is basically what at this point on this line basically we get w transpose x as 1 means that our value of z is basically what 1 okay similarly we have one more point here for which let's say our uh, w transpose x is minus 1 so basically uh, a score given to it is minus 1 okay now let's say we have some point here or uh, later very far distance right? from this very far distance from this we have some point here for which we have score as 100 and similarly we have some point here for which the score is minus 150 okay so basically z is what it is giving a score okay larger the value of z larger the score okay and more the square or uh, score okay we say that more the score it has larger the probability of being plus one okay so basically the category in which the point is falling if we have large value of g for that point that means that it has larger score which also means that it has larger probability to come as plus one okay so uh, we have uh, this model z of z right uh, to, uh, we can write it as z of z equals to this okay and let's say if z equals to zero like we are getting some uh scores correct we are getting let's say minus 150 we are getting one we are getting minus one zero and hundred okay so what we are saying let's say z is a function of probability okay where z of z equals to 0.5 okay the probability will be 0.5 is z is equals to zero okay if z and z of z is basically one if z is basically uh from uh towards infinity that is that approaches to infinity from zero to infinity okay and g of z is minus one if it approaches to minus infinity okay so at zero our probability is basically what 0.5 okay there yeah, is 50 50 chances of being uh one and minus one similarly as we in uh go in uh, positive direction okay 
a score increases positively then we will consider it let's say one and if a score uh, increases in negative direction we will say that it is a minus one okay so for this kind of uh, so we need that uh, gz function right that g function which can give something like this and one of the most popular choices and basically this g is known as link functions okay so this g is known as link functions which give this kind of probability and one of the popular choices of for the link function is basically this function that is g of z equals to 1 plus e raised to power minus z okay and we know that z is nothing but w transpose x so it is nothing but 1 upon 1 plus e raised to power minus w transpose x okay and this function is known as sigmoid function or logistic function okay this function is known as sigmoid function or we can say logistic function okay so this function basically look like this so we have this uh, arrangement okay this plane and this function look like this so it gave goes from this to this okay so at zero it is 0.5 this time we go this is uh, minus one and this this direction we go it is plus one okay so this is our, uh, our function this sigmoid function look like stick this okay now let's say uh, if we talk about this g okay so g is what g is basically score okay so let's say we have this data points some data points okay these are some data points and these are basically uh points let's say tossing a coin and we are getting head and tail these are all those points okay so this is head 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 and this we got tails let's say and similarly tails 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 and let's say this is we got head okay now we have this w okay we have this w with respect to w if we try to find the scores of these okay so let's say at this point okay at this point we have a score w transpose equals to one okay and if we put it on sigmoid function it will be one upon one plus e raised to power minus one that is nothing but e upon e raised to power e plus one so basically we put it here right this one okay similarly if we talk about the probability of this point or let's say score of this point of this misclassified point okay so that is basically actually it is tails okay so what our this model will do we, uh, if we try to find the probability of this so it is nothing but on this line we have w transpose x equals to 10 okay so it will be 1 upon 1 plus e raised to power minus 10 that is this okay so it has some probability correct it has some probability uh, and uh, that is misclassified let's say there will be one more w right there will be one more w which separates uh, which classifies like this correct Separ uh, this classifies like this and for this w if we talk about this misclassified point right for this w okay if we talk about this point then according to this w the probability of this will be small correct uh, it will be like point something like close to zero okay so it means that for some different w it may be classified as uh, let's say this term it is minus one so maybe consider as plus one but not with that much probability and we can have a boundary let's say uh, uh, region in which we can say like if this is this much probability then we should say this is minus one not a plus one okay there will be some reason so what we want like for this uh, classification we have this similarly there will be several other w as well which can let's say give a good classification right so our basically question is ki how we will get the w okay we will get this w how we will get this w that correctly classifies so the model is basically logistic regression 
the model which can give this w is basically logistic regression and it says p of y equals to 1 given the data is nothing but 1 upon 1 plus e raised to power minus w transpose x that is this sigmoid function right this way known as sigmoid function correct so let's say we have this data set x1 x1 y1 up to up to x and y n how we find w so we will find w by using maximum likelihood correct because we want that right so what will be the maximum likelihood function the maximum likelihood function l of w with data is nothing but product of all g of w transpose yani z of z of for by i any for particular point y i into 1 minus g of z raised to power 1 minus phi so, okay this will be the likelihood function that uh, correctly classifying and not correctly classifying okay the product of this basically uh it's a bernoulli distribution yeah that is like p raised to uh x raised to power p and y raised to power one minus p that thing okay now we have this now let's take the logarithm okay for both side uh, in both side so when we take log of this so it will be nothing but summation of i equals to 1 to n y i because we, when we talk, uh, take the log it will come forward right so it will be y i log g of z okay plus 1 minus y i log of this correct that is also uh, when we further solve and we'll, when we put this value of z that is our sigmoid function it will come this and after solving this we will get something like this correct so now we have this function correct now our goal is to what basically maximize w right we we just simplified when to, uh, took the log and we just simplified this right now our work the goal is what to basically maximize this function we have to maximize this function to get that optimal uh, w correct so goal is maximize this now the problem is there is no closed expression for this okay there is no closed form uh, when we do this uh, maximization here we won't get any closed form okay so the other way we can do is basically can perform gradient descent or ascent okay what we can do we can perform gradient descent okay so what we will do we will derivate and equate it equals to zero right so we will Take the gradient gradient is basically what differentiation right maximization clearly what we do we do dif uh, differentiate it and then uh, keep it equals to zero to basically get maximum maximum uh, optimal points optimal points right so those things so when we do this uh, gradient of log of lw because we find log of lw equals to this function right and we have to maximize this function so we are taking gradient so we will take gradient so gradient will be this okay so this is, there is log function so it will be this and this is also uh the grid uh differentiation of this will be minus x like okay because we are just doing it with respect to w correct and further solving this it will come like this and again like this okay and then we will get something like this when we do maximum okay so this is basically a form we don't get any uh, uh, more simplified form this is the form which we get it is the it will give our what it will give our maximum okay this function now as i said we don't get any close form so we, we can apply a gradient descent right so let's apply gradient descent and what we will do with gradient descent we iteratively tries to reach to maxima or minimum whatever we want okay so iteration step will be w of t plus 1 really t plus 1th step of iteration will be equals to w of t that is previous w plus eta times eta of t times gradient of l that is this function correct so this is our gradient rule which will take us to that optimal w okay that is previous w plus eta uh, times gradient of maximum likelihood function that is step size where it is step size 
uh, how uh, gradually we are uh, moving to that optimal solution right and uh, when we put the value of this here we will get something like this okay now here note something it is xi xi belongs to what basically it is the data points so it belongs to rd now yi is basically our uh, labels right that is either 0 or 1 and this is nothing but g of z correct and it will be basically what some constant because this is nothing but probability right and this is also nothing but a constant so whole this thing is basically what a constant now this iteration step will allow us any data set and it will give a nice double okay because in this we are associating the probabilities correct so due to the probability okay uh, we know that it's a gradient update rule okay so misclassification what uh, whether we do uh, correct classification or misclassification it will always lead us to the correct direction of w okay so it will give a nice w okay this iteration step will give a nice w and it will allow any data set okay any data set so how the prediction will be made so given a x test that is belongs to rd basically a x data point okay the prediction yi basically y test is basically sign of w transpose x test okay so this is how we will be making the prediction and x test you know yeah you know that uh, we can find w with the iteration update like update rule iteratively right and when we get the w we can use this w here to make our prediction that is basically simple logistic regression right now this was uh, like uh, this was the iteration uh, maximization thing right now we can give a regularized version of it as well okay and this will be nothing but minimize w of this okay so the maximum likelihood thing minimize this and there will be a regularizer function lambda by 2 of norm of w this is norm uh, normalizer regularizer right where lambda is basically what hyperparameter which can be uh, found by cross validation like on different different data set we can cross validate validate and whatever is the best lambda we get we use that right and this is basically what regularizer we don't uh, let it to fall in zero right so this is basically our regularized version and this is what is known as logistic regression and i hope you get it right so if you like the video please subscribe the channel okay we are about to reach 5k subscribers and stay tuned for next videos and thank you for watching